I've made just about everything in the microwave, so I thought this series would not be complete without showing you how you can make quick, delicious cupcakes in a microwave. These take less than one minute to make, and they're great quick fix for when you're in the mood for just one or two cupcakes. Before we get into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Opinion Outpost, which is a research website, a survey website, where you can take surveys, answer a couple questions, and in return, earn rewards and make some extra money. It's really easy to use. You can do this from your phone, from your computer, while you're watching Netflix. You just sign up, start answering questions, and essentially get paid for your opinion. Take a survey, and with that extra cash, treat yourself to breakfast, a free coffee, a donut. That's what I'm going to be doing. So do check them out. I'll leave their link in the description box below. Okay, so we're gonna start out by melting the butter because we're going to bloom the cocoa powder. Blooming essentially means adding cocoa powder to any type of hot liquid, in this case, hot melted butter, to intensify its flavor. This also helps to dissolve the cocoa lumps. We don't want those little nuggets, you know, of cocoa floating around in our batter, okay? You're going to add the sugar and the milk. Do not use cold milk. If you use cold milk, the butter will seize and hello lumps again. We want a smooth batter, people, okay? Give this a rough mix and add the flour, baking powder, and salt. You want to mix your batter well, but don't over mix. If you're new to my channel, hello there, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. Now the cooking time will depend on the size of your cupcake liners. I've shown you this trick before. You don't need any special mold to hold your cupcake liners. As long as you double, or in this case, I'd say triple your cupcake liners, the cupcake won't spread as it bakes. The outer cupcake liners will not go to waste once the cupcake is ready you can remove the outer paper liners and use them for another time with this recipe you should be able to get two cupcakes you want to fill your cupcake liners halfway these will grow quite a lot in the microwave so if you fill your cupcake liners three quarters of the way the batter will just ooze out i will leave more tips and everything you need to know in the description box cook one cupcake at a time these cook really quickly they take 30 to 40 seconds to cook do not over bake your cupcake. Once your cupcake is ready, it's going to be really hot, obviously, and really soft. So be gentle when you take it out of the microwave and go ahead and cook your second cupcake. Now on to making the frosting. I'm going to show you how to make just enough for two cupcakes. I'm making a simple whipped cream Nutella frosting. It's cream and Nutella whipped to medium to stiff peaks. I love this frosting because of its light mousse creamy texture, but if you want to do just plain Nutella, by all means, go ahead. I do also want to mention that these cupcakes are delicious even by themselves so if you want to add just some powdered sugar on top and serve warm please do if you are however frosting these make sure they've completely cooled before you frost these you can clearly tell mine were still a bit warm the frosting was melting but that's okay because these were eaten right away these are so tender and chocolatey if you're in the mood for cupcakes you don't need to make a whole batch these are quick delicious and satisfying you'll love these you're so wild. 